Morning and praise the Lord, everybody. This is Minister Kevin Donnell on KD's Inspire TV, amen. And today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2015. And I just pray that God is doing awesome things in your life, amen. I wanna thank you for those who have jumped in on this series. Um, It's only a test, amen. Yesterday, we talked about faith and patience coming from James chapter one, verses two through seven. And today, we are going to hit an area, amen, that I pray that we all continue to work on a very convicting passage of scripture coming from James chapter three. James chapter three, we're be talking from James a lot, um, but James chapter three, amen, talking about um, the, the title today is Tame the Tongue, Release the Blessing. Taming the Tongue and releasing the blessings. And I, I ask that you share this video with a lot of people. I'm sure you have people around you that just allow things to come out of their mouths that literally can destroy, cancel, um, demolish the blessing that God has for them because life and death is in the power of the tongue. And um, what comes out of my mouth has the, the power to um, cancel my mind from believing what God can do, amen. So let's look at James chapter three, amen. James chapter three, a little long, but I wanna, I wanna read this to you so we can really get this down in our spirits, amen. Um, James chapter three, starting at verse one, it says, my brethren, be not masters knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in the word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. Behold. We put bits in a horse's mouth, they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold, also the ships, which though they may be great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listen. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold how great the matter a little fire kindled. And the, to the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity, so is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind. So everything else, all the other crea creations, um, the creatures that God created can be tamed. All animals can be tamed. But the tongue, verse eight, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Wow. Therewith bless we God, even the father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the multitude of uh, the similitude of God. So we are easy to bless God. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I lift you up. Lord, I magnify you. But then when it comes to man who God created, when, when we get upset and when we um, go to that place, as I mentioned last week, we allow those our tongue to be used to give the enemy glory because we're cursing people out. We speak in negative things against them. We are literally attacking them with our words. But that same tongue that we just got through blessing God with, the Lord says, no, that's not the way it should be. Amen. Um, verse 10 says, out of the same mouth proceedeth blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Does the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? If you went to a fountain, is it going to pour out sweet water and bitter water? No, it's going to pour out one type of water, and evidently it's sweet if you keep going to it. Amen? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either of vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out a good conversation his worth works with meekness of wisdom. Amen. But if ye have a bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. The wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. For where envy and the strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to entreat it, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of the righteousness sown in the peace of them that make peace. Let's look at that last scripture. And the fruit of the righteousness is sown in the peace of them that make peace. Amen. So I know that seemed like a lot of scripture, but let's sum that up real quick as we get ready to close this video. Because the word really spoke for itself. Tame the tongue, release the blessing. Amen. Taming my tongue means that I do not have to say what comes to my mind. I do not have to speak everything that comes to my mind. Today, your test in your life is going to be what comes out of your mouth. What are you speaking? Do not allow a person to take you to a place where the same God that you are praising, you allow your tongue to speak destruction either upon your own life or the life of others. Christians, I want you to be careful and stop saying it slipped out. Words don't slip out. You planned it because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth shall speak. So if your heart is not right, if your heart has bitterness, if your heart has hatred, 
If your heart has darkness, whatever is in your heart is going to exit out of your mouth. So please be careful of what you speak out of your mouth, even starting today. Yes, we're going to get upset. Yes, we're going to get angry. The word of God says anger, but sin not. Why? The natural man is going to get upset. The natural man is going to get angry. Yes, that's every day. And any Christian that sits on here today and say that, oh, I don't get mad. I don't get upset. Well, the devil is a liar. Amen. I want you to pray about that. Amen. Because we all have moments where we get mad. We all have moments where we literally about to blow up. But the word of God says, sin not. Why? Because I cannot let my anger, I cannot let my frustration, I cannot let my irritation overtake the blessings that God has for me, even for myself, amen. And those who know me, I know I work at the school system. And there are many days where I'm literally about to go to 10, amen. But what I have to be careful of is, Kevin, do not allow um, what's going on around you to taint or destroy or demolish what God is doing in you. My challenge for you today my challenge for you today is to, Lord, help me to tame this tongue. Help me to be careful of what comes out of my mouth. Help me to be watchful of what I release in my atmosphere. Help me to be watchful of the seeds that I sow in others and in myself. Help me to be mindful of the words that I speak before they exit out of my mouth. Help me literally to think before I speak. Many of the things that God wants to do in your life is, is a result of what you have spoken out of your mouth. Proverbs chapter 18 says, life and death is in the power of my tongue. So if I want God to do a great work in my life, I got to be careful what I speak out of my mouth. The word says that I can't praise God one minute and curse somebody out the second minute. Nobody, I mean, especially the people that's in the body of Christ, none of us should allow the enemy to take over our tongue. None of us should allow the enemy to take over our words. Amen. So you got to be careful. That's like me telling you, oh, I love you. I love you. You're so beautiful. Um, you're, you're, you're so great. You're so amazing. Amen. And then five seconds later, I'm like, beep, 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 beep. Amen. And that's just a little animation, okay? You say, well, Kevin, that don't make sense. Well, that's what we do to God. We lift up our hands and worship and say, Father, you're so worthy. I bless you. Lord, there's nobody like you. And we exalt him and we lift him. And the moment that somebody make us mad, I'm telling you, we let them have it. God said that shouldn't be so, people. We got to be careful. We got to be mindful. So my challenge for all of us today is to be mindful of the tongue, the words that we use. Because we all want God to bless us. We want God to do miraculous things in our lives. And if I leave anything else with you today, we serve a God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you even ask or think. Trust God and watch what he can do. Father, we thank you so much for this video. Bless those who watch it. Tame our tongues. Watch our minds, oh God. And help us to be disciplined in what we speak out of our mouth. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I pray that this blesses you today. This is KD's Inspire TV. Amen. The scripture today is coming from James chapter three, titled Tame the Tongue, Release the Blessing. Please feel free to visit me on my website at www.mvogministries.com or, of course, my Facebook at Kevin Donnell Motivational Speaker. Share this video with somebody and let's continue to tame the tongue and release the blessing. God bless you.